Apollonauts, are you with me? If you're a first time guest here on Mission Update, your daily dose of the ultimate all-in-one privacy coin, do let us know in the comments. We love welcoming all of our new crew members to your bite-size update with your host, the blockchain braveheart Colin Stone. And to our faithful long-time Apollonauts, welcome. Let us know also, when did you watch your first ever Mission Update? Anyway, on to business. The Apollo mission is moving steadily. Those familiar with crypto lands know how things can change from one day to the next. At the time of this recording, Bitcoin has surpassed the $6,000 breaking point and are we seeing signs of a bullish summer? We certainly hope so. Everyone benefits when the dominant paired granddaddy of them all does well. Through the volatility of our industry, Apollo remains consistent in flux with real crypto world market conditions. And regardless of opinions about the values of any cryptocurrency, the proof is in performance and sustainability. These are the true factors that make history. Just ask the many who saw the vision of Bitcoin in 2010. Okay, okay, enough talk about grandpa. Let's talk the next generation. By now, it's clear the blockchain revolution is here to stay. As it continues to capture the world's attention, we here at Apollo have determined the five essentials for success. Same with me, efficiency, reliability, sustainability, privacy, and security. Apollo is rich with features that covers all five with unprecedented opportunity. And as we cruise into the middle of our second quarter of 2019, a quick look at our roadmap will show the milestones accomplished, including Apollo Dex, sharding, new partnerships, the Apollo updater and improved wallet protocols, the list goes on. As we prepare to celebrate our first year since going live on exchanges in July 2018, the momentum for our third quarter is filled with good things. Fasten your seatbelts, Apollonauts, this is quite a ride. Crypto news now, and traditional economic experts and investors have always shied away from new technologies that disrupt their well-centralized machines. But as they call it, a Freudian slip can be telling that blockchain and crypto can't be ignored much longer. Now, what on earth, what on earth am I talking about? I don't even know. It's today's article from CCN, of course, pointing out how 95-year-old billionaire and famous digital currency hater Charlie Munger accidentally made the case for crypto by criticizing the rate at which fiat currency is printed by governments. Give the article a read and welcome to our Wild West crypto industry, Charlie. We're all out of time for today, but thank you very much for watching, as well as for your comments, questions, sharing and subscribing. Check us out on social media if you're yet to do so, and I'll see you next time.